To know whether a story is a comedy or a tragedy, it's all in the ending. Both of the George Orwells, because I love George Orwell. All the Shakespeare's, obviously, because you can't go wrong with Shakespeare. Florence Paget would know her bookshelf is filled with the classics. It is my great grandfather, and just he was a big collector of them. He loved reading. But you'd be shocked to learn she couldn't read a single sentence in any of these books until she was 10 years old. I was completely illiterate until that point. Paget and her family immigrated from France when she was just four. Some of the teachers thought that I had learning um, development issues. And I remember one of my teachers said, you're never going to be good at English ever. Your, your grammar is terrible and your spelling is terrible. It wasn't until she started reading J.K. Rowling with her mother that she began to cultivate her passion. My mom just kind of, she would read with me a lot, so she would try to push me out of that comfort zone. Now, more than a decade later, not only has she consumed her family's favorites, but she's making stories of her own. And she is our first theater and cinema student who has been accepted to NYU and to the screenwriting program. She's been accepted into one of the most prestigious screenwriting graduate programs in the country. I thought there was, I had no chance ever getting anything in college. And her unique story, now has an equally unique ending. Your mic is is at the top of your head. Mirroring her favorite genre as a screenwriter, the type that leaves you with a smile. Life is comedic in a lot of ways, and I think about like when I was struggling to talk and the way I would have to communicate with people was pretty funny and just, you know, I think it's best to laugh. La laughter is the best medicine.